Now we're live, right? Okay. We so, are now live, yes. Um, before we start the podcast, uh, I want to say welcome to episode two of the initiative, and I just want to announce that we distributed our podcast through this app called Anchor, so now we're on like a bunch of different platforms, aside from just YouTube and SoundCloud. I don't feel like listing them all, but... Um, the links are in the bio of this YouTube, or links are in the description of this YouTube video. So, make sure you listen um, to the podcast on every single one of them, so that we can have equal yeah. listens and views on every single platform. Yeah. That would be clutch. It's, it Thank would really you. help Josh's obsessive, compulsive That's right. needs. Um, so, what's up with you this week? Um, Anything big happening? You know, not yet. But, um, just got confirmed for a short film audition that's coming up in February. Sick. Um, which should be pretty dope, I think. Um, just, you know, keep it on. This is this is like the slowest time of year for, uh, yeah. for everything. Because yeah. winter comes late because of global warming <laughs> and it's cold. Yeah. And I remember last year before anything like was even happening really, you had some auditions and that was like the first kind of big, that was like the first brick for sure. the wall, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you had like, I remember you were like kind of annoyed with the agency and like, yeah, because you were only getting a few auditions here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nothing was I was, I was, dude, and then that built up and by summer, which is months away from now, I was, like seconds away from making a phone call and cutting it off and saying I'm done this is not for me anymore and literally that that day I was about to make the phone call um, I, I got something that was really awesome and I was like wow yeah. what are the odds that today yeah the day I'm I'm about to end things right I'm I get booked for yeah. something um, you know yeah and I I remember us hanging out early in the summer and you were telling me you just got paid for the first time. Oh yeah. We're yeah, well. Gig. That was pretty cool. But uh just the first yeah, yeah. I've been uh building a website and it's kinda coming along sure. what, very well. What website builder? Wix.com. Wix.com. Uh, like the YouTube ads. It's it's pretty easy, but I'm now figuring out that when I wanna make my domain public and everything yeah and get my own domain for it right it's expensive so it is expensive. well for me it will be yeah do you remember sophomore year i when i made flow thought yeah i do okay so sophomore year thought, so. i wanted to be i wanted to be like a blogger because there's this site called mashable you've probably heard of it it's like a tech blog website and it started off on wordpress like the most famous yeah. blog builder out there yeah and i like i wanted to be like the dude, I forget his name, who started it. So I started a site called Flow Thought, had its own domain, it was www.flowthought.com. And I wrote a few posts, didn't get into it at all. Yeah. That was like one of my first um, experiences as a wantrepreneur. Yeah. Like where you want it, but you do all the stuff that doesn't matter first. Like, like you know, building a website. Right. Building marketing tools yeah. to back up no kind of product yeah, or anything. Was, yeah. But it was cool. It, it, it felt you, cool. You it learned cool. something, definitely. Like yeah, true. Um, that was probably when we hung out the most frequently. Absolutely. That we we were hanging out at that time every weekend. Every though. weekend, and we were and and you were getting into social media a little bit more. Um, I was I was being an observer. Mm. I still am. What do you mean? I like I learn a lot on social media. I go like. I'm always watching like a podcast or like a vlog to and I'm yeah. all, like in a in an educational manner, not just like like to learn. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like You're, if yeah. it's a podcast, I want to learn something intellectual. If it's a vlog, I want to yeah. Kind of so you're see not what styles it, it, I it's, like. It's mindful versus mindless consuming. Yeah, but it's right. It's it's almost too much now. Like I, especially now with winter and there's a lot of like winter sadness and anxiety and stuff I tend to like be on all of my electronics a lot more sure as like a distraction yeah 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 that is bad but it's bad yeah you know no, I mean? that is in bad. the summer it's kind of cool it's like I, I had this little routine I'd get up make iced coffee 
watch some YouTube videos, and then go make a vlog right. every single day. Yeah, yeah, and it was just like, it would get up at 7 in the morning every summer, or yeah. every day of the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that, that is cool. So it's cool when the yeah. content of other people sort of greases your gears a little mm -hmm. bit and gets you moving. Yeah. But I feel you during the winter, like now, when it's just... It's just so much. Yeah. Like it, that Chicago winter. Yeah. So for me, it's arguably worse because for my craft, like, like I have to, I'm watching like TV, basically, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like, wow. Oh yeah, I can delude myself by saying, yeah, I watched, you know, I rewatched season three of Daredevil three times because it's my favorite show. <laughs> I'm learning something. Um, yeah, that's how it is, honestly. But, uh, yeah. What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. These are just the sides that I have open. Gotcha. Because I don't know what else to display on my computer. I have nothing um, else to look at. I don't have as cool of a background as you, Jake. God, back off. I took that picture. You took that picture? Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Um, Falling behind. All right, solid brick principle. I'm just going to get Solid brick principle? I'm just going to get right to the chase. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. Let's talk about Take it. me out to dinner for... No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, uh, solid brick principle. You you brought it to my attention, so you... Fair enough. Okay, look, it. look. To be fair, the solid brick principle is is extremely simple. I just, as a 15-year-old, as a I wanted to give it a cool name. So I personally, in my own head, yeah. started calling it the solid brick principle. And the whole thing basically just means consistency um, over perfection, yeah. right? Yep. Um, Persistence, perseverance, all that, you know, crappy self-help stuff. But what, stuff. Is the, what is the metaphor? The metaphor, I think we mentioned it in the episode one, but to go a little bit more Briefly. in depth, um, if you were to represent your, if you were to manifest your success and progress as a brick wall mm -hmm. in your own head, each step that you take, every sort of small daily play that you have to make is a brick. Yep. So with fitness, if your goal is to you know uh, build a really impressive body or something, each workout is worthless on its own. It is. If you go to the gym and yeah, yeah. absolutely blow the hell out of your shoulders, right? That's doing nothing for your progress yeah. unless you come back next week and push more weight or yeah. you know go for more reps, and make actual numerical progress in the gym. Yep. It's worthless, but it. You require that first stepping stone. Yep. With another, I mean, it's that the easiest analogy is fitness. I think. I think so. Too. Right, but but or it applies. The wall. Yeah. Or right, exactly. Yeah. The wall is is the basic. Yeah. Or is it, yeah, like how do you build a brick wall, brick by sure. brick by brick by brick, day in day out. Right. You I mean, know? yeah, that's 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 yeah. the best that's, of our yeah, understanding. I've never built a brick wall, a literal one. Um, I hope I'll never have to. But um, I hope, yeah, speaking of walls. Right, I know. Seriously. We might have to give that a different analogy yeah. just because of the times. Um, anyway, so but like with, with business or with, with, you know, what we're working on, it's like I would say what I've been focusing on lately is daily action is crucial. It's yeah. essential. Because if you don't take daily action, like doing something every day to push you forward, even if it seems extremely insignificant, which it probably is, right? It's at the very least, if it's doing nothing for you at all, yeah. it's at least keeping your mind engaged in your work. So totally. for me, right, yeah. if I I could spend, you know, so I'm trying to get more into like writing and producing my own stuff uh -huh. um, that I can that I can sort of perform at an open mic or something. Yeah. I could spend 10 minutes a day, ideally more, but I could spend 10 minutes a day writing and if none of that is used, at least I spent 10 minutes thinking about, like, practicing it. So that next time when I sit down for 45 minutes, I can get more out of that writing session than I did from the 10 minutes of worthless crap that's yeah. never going to do anything for yeah. me. But at least it kept me engaged. Yeah, and one thing I've been thinking about lately is, like, I've always kind of had this outlook on life where it's, like, there's things that matter and there's things that don't matter. Sure. So, like, lately for me it's been, like, what matters is my business, my career, my relationships. What doesn't matter is grades. Still do, sure. still do decent at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, Dad, what does this English class yeah. have to do with 
um, this this video that's going to pay me X amount of money. Sure. And go and like save usable it money. Go to my usable future. Income. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like something that's actually tangible. Right. Yeah, I mean, especially when I don't necessarily buy into the whole college thing. So like that's kind of been my thing. But now I, my whole mindset has sort of changed. To like every single, th- the effort you pit put in mm-hmm. to this relates to everything else. Like so like. If I'm if I'm working out and I'm mm-hmm. giving it my all yeah. and I'm eating right, that is gonna indirectly relate to my mental clarity when I'm making a video, sure. filming a podcast, yeah, yeah, yeah. editing a picture. Right. Which is gonna relate to so I'm I'm trying to do my best at everything now. That's kind That's of That's good. Well you gotta remember you can't though. No. You can't be the do the best at everything. But I can't it I think it's in you know you can't when you look at it in a broad sense, but I'm filming the podcast right now, mm-hmm. so I'm going to do the best that I possibly can. Sure. And at okay. this podcast. So I get what you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so putting, but when I go work out later, I'm going to give my all into that workout. Yes. That's you know the right way to look at it. Yeah. Right. I, I think that's spot on. It, and really what that boils down to, I think, is is just, you know, making sure that you're you're focused on the present. Yes. Um, because if you... Yes. Te- if you This happened to me the other day. I was... Not the other day, like months ago. <laughs> but I had a moment where it was like, I have so many goals that I had been thinking about so much. And I tried to visualize how I was going to make all of them possible in one moment. And I was just overwhelmed with the sense of complete, all-consuming failure. Oh, yeah. Because it was like, I can't, I can't do this. Yeah. I don't have time for it. But if you put, you're absolutely right, if you put um, even close to 100%, in what you're doing, if you put eighty percent, right? Yeah. That's the that's the whole Mike Vacanti thing. Yeah, shout out Mike Vacanti. Yeah, consistency over perfection. Total seventy percent seven days a week is better than one hundred and ten percent once a week, in my opinion. Yeah, or even less than seventy percent probably. Seventy, I'm, or more. Yeah, if I, you can, yeah, but you get better at it to the point that you can do then one hundred percent four or five days a week. Yeah, and so it, the yeah. ratio. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, you, Josh. You do. You're oh. you're able to. You're credible. Wow. Thanks. People man. are listening to this podcast partly because you're on it. Pe- like, do you understand? People are listening to this. Like last 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 episode, you were like, I don't really have the means to say this, and yeah. then you said something, and I was like, in my head, I was thinking, say whatever you. It's our podcast. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so, that's that's me on a tan. You know. No, I feel you, man. <laughs> um, one but thing that also relates to the solid brick principle. And I think we've, when when we first were saying that, it was just kind of like, I took that statement for granted, like, when I was all into my fitness and Jake Fine Fitness and making, starting vlogging, and you were always talking about, build, like, Jake, you're building a wall. No pun intended. Um, and yeah, really. you gotta take it brick by brick, and I'm like... I was just like pish posh, whatever. But now it's just like wh- when you think about all the stuff that each of us are doing, you kind of have to think about it, like yeah, that's, in those terms. You have to frame it like that, because it's it, you know it's it's micro versus macro, small when you versus yeah. big. You can't make big plays every day. No, it's compounded effort. And even if you do make a big play in a day, mm-hmm. it's still a small play in the grand scheme of things. Ideally. A big play today, sure. A big play is like. I start thinking about it today. And then, okay, so I want to build a website by February. Let's just throw this scenario out. I want to build a website by February. Yeah. So all I have to do today yeah. is look at different platforms where I can build a website. Sure. And then tomorrow I probably look again. Mm-hmm. And then this whole week I decide that I'm going to go on Wix and make my website through Wix. That's like, that's a... You know what I'm saying? Micro action yeah. contributes to macro success. Yeah, and there were times over the summer when I was like daily vlogging, and that's exhausting. But that was like that's, that's like the epitome. I mean, that's yeah. that is that's like <laughs> that's like a brick every day, but it's a big brick because a, a vlog yeah, a is, vlog is a, making one vlog right now. Like mm-hmm. make I filmed a vlog on Saturday. It was my brother's bar mitzvah. I haven't even began to edit it. Right, because editing now is so much harder. Yeah, because I'm on Premiere and there's I'm that's good. I'm making it better. Yeah, no, that okay. So that's a huge thing. Yeah, is is quality control. Yeah, because it, it it's so important. 
like taking on an edit now is like a daunting task. Like I am not not in a bad way, but it's like it's not iMovie anymore, where it takes That's me right. an hour. It takes me like a day. That's good. Like, which, but, which, but then it won't take you a day. Yeah, no, it's I just because you're new to it. Yeah, so like, anyways, there would be times over the summer when I was daily vlogging, and I would just be like, have moments. Yeah. Like only a few minutes where I was like, "Am I wasting my time? Yeah. Should I just go to college? <laughs> just I take just, the traditional should route. Should I just be like, and should I just live, get a pension, die, and retire? You know what I yeah. mean? Because it's not, it does sound nice sometimes. I'm like, I've had that same thought. Yeah. I was like, if I I could just take the what what I deem to be the easiest route, and it's not by any stretch. That's the that's the delusion is that that is easier. Because sometimes it's not; it's harder in a lot of ways yeah. than than trying to be a, you know, a freaking self starter. It's it is hard, but like to go to college for and get a degree in like education and, and become a teacher, which is a, like probably the the best thing you could like the most charitable thing you could do with your life, yeah. right? Become a teacher, have a career in that, take the route. I mean, I mean, the beaten path in a way, which is awesome. And yeah. super important. That's like I can do that. I yeah. can do that. And and the at the end of that train of thought, you realize like, or I realized, there's options, right? Yeah. So if this ultimately fails, right? Yeah. And what I'm, if I'm, what I'm doing right now, I have like three really attractive options, which are to you know become a teacher, which is something I I've, I've been doing yeah. for a while now. Yeah. Um, I could do that, and I I could turn it into a career, and probably enjoy my life a lot. Um, yeah. So it, you know, you can't. I think you, if you condemn up the other options you have, you're you're limiting yourself. Yeah. Because it, you. That's you know, funny. But the, I, I I don't have other options, but. Right and they, right and that's, that's the other that's side. Of it. That's me. the other side of it, right? Matt Damon says, if you can do anything else with your life besides trying to be an actor, do that. Do not try to be an actor. So if you are like, and I, it applies to other things as well. If you yeah. want to, you know, be a self starter and like. Be self-employed, do your own thing. If you think you can do anything else, do that because that is not an attractive option. It's it's far harder than you think it's going to be, and it, it'll probably crush you. Um, but yeah, for the, but for the know, few individuals that can do it, it's like they're they're like you, you know. Yeah. Tunnel vision. But we've got this beautiful benefit of starting at the age of sixteen. Like you got signed at the age of sixteen. Uh, I believe, right? Yeah. Well, like, yeah, and it's. Yeah. And I started my channel at 16. Sure. So it's like... So that... Well, all that is, though, is that's just a head start. It's just ask... But yeah, but like... So we're starting well before we have any responsibility. Like, we've got this beautiful True. thing where we can... Like, especially now that we're seniors, mm -hmm. I can... I can do whatever I want. Yeah. So that's well, why I'm yeah, pushing so hard. That's the other thing. thing. Um, both of us now have been accepted into the college we want to go to. Mm -hmm. And once I got that email, Just, I was like, yeah. I, I don't, I can, I can, you know, send important emails. I can do all of that during math now. Yeah. So uh, to be <laughs> honest, this is kind of embarrassing. I've been checked out of, you know, oh, college yeah. algebra trig for, for this whole semester. So I, I really don't know what's going on in that class, and there'll be moments where I'm like, wow, I'm an idiot. I have no idea what's happening. But then it's like, oh, no, all of the 40, or like, it's it's a longer period. Yes, so it's like 52 yeah. minutes, yeah. right? I spent an hour, essentially, yesterday, instead of paying attention to, like, you know, cotangent, secant, all of that really important material, I sent out emails. I, conf I stepped out of the classroom on two separate occasions to go to the bathroom where I, you know, called and confirmed myself for a callback and an audition <laughs> and, and did all that, talked to people on the phone, <laughs> asked a question to someone about something. You know, it's, it's right. I mean, we're both sort of in a period of time now where we're just waiting for this school year to be over. Yeah. And spending, I spend more time in school, checked out, thinking about, what really Dude, matters to oh me. Oh my god, yeah. And, and honestly, I feel you. I'm at a point now where we, where like I don't have to worry about school, so it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Dude, it's kind of fun now. Like now, I can just chill. Getting good grades is like a game to me now. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm just seeing if I can. Right. Like, well, I'll tell you one thing. I can't. <laughs> I have, well, I have A's in like the classes that are straightforward for me, which are like reading and writing yeah. classes, history, um, 
and but but like math, I'm not even in a science class. Math is the only class. Math in Spanish, I just like. I'm not paying attention. Yeah. It's the morning time. I've just had coffee. I'm I'm like I want to be creative. Engage, engage, yeah. Right. Engaged in what is important. Yeah. Dude, and, I, I get in moods like. And it's actually all the time. it's kind of like I'll be I'll be on my on my Chrome on my school Chromebook just literally on email like this refresh 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 waiting wow. for something to come my way which is not productive at all. No. It's just my it's just that mind being overactive at that time. Uh -huh. So that's something I should work on is being able to sort of. Um, transition between yeah that that was kind of me last semester mm -hmm. uh and the semester before like going into the summer before senior year yeah i was like a creative bubble waiting to pop right and summer was gonna make me pop like mm -hmm. which is why i posted so many vlogs yeah right at the end of summer i burned out though and i got like i don't want to say depressed i just hadn't like negative motivation to do anything. Sure. Like you, if you look at my channel, recently I picked it back up, but like there was a month, there was like right in the middle of August until I want to say like October, mm -hmm. I did not want to pick up a camera. Yep. I, it, would, it made me like, it, I lost motivation when I looked at a camera. Like I was like, yeah. that burned out from making videos. Yeah, you're depleted. And it carried over into school now. Mm -hmm. So like one of my goals for 2019 was like, put your effort into school, it'll carry over. Put your effort into the gym, it'll carry over. Mm -hmm. Like because I put no effort in to to anything last semester, yeah. Until kind of near the end, and it just I didn't feel like myself. Kind of like I right. need I I need to be working. I it's can't good. relax. Like when I went to Miami. Mm -hmm. There's a vlog about that. You can ask Thomas, who took me. Did not. I could not relax. I had to be filming all the time. Like it's just not in my bones to be able to relax. That's why I don't think I'll ever be able to retire. Yeah. Well, that's a. Yeah. That, I mean, that's so far away. Tell but you like, what. Tell you what. Good news. You do not need to worry about yeah, it. Yeah. Seriously. For a pretty yeah. fair amount of time. So you are decent. Yeah. But I get what you're saying, and that's really good. But you do have to find the time to chill, because then you, otherwise, if you can't, um, sort of get that within yourself if you can't regulate that that sense of being able to chill yeah. your body's going to do it for you and you'll burn out and you'll spend a month like you, or, or longer that's what happened that's okay yeah, so that's, that's exactly what's, what that's happened. what's happened with me with like basically taking care of myself physically that's what i've been in for like since thanksgiving oh yeah that's really embarrassing to say but like nah. i i've i've had negative motivation i've been like man i should really get back into cuz it it affects it it, like you said, it carries over, right? Yeah. If you wake up in the morning and train for an hour or 45 efficient minutes, 30 yeah. efficient minutes, yeah. shower, have some coffee or breakfast, drink some water, your day is going to rock. Yeah. Your day's going to rock. Seriously. Oh, my God. And actually, I have not yeah. done that ever. No, I'm just kidding. But it's been like, <laughs> it's been like three months at least. No, dude. You, you always have, since I've known you as a workout partner, it's... You've always been like how I am with work. Like you just burn out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's just go way too hard. We'll be working out, and you're like, my bones hurt, and I'm like, okay, okay. so stop training. No, no, no. And like, then you like keep to going. To be fair, to be fair, that was that was when we were, I was on the rings, and I had I had done. It wasn't even that the volume was too high. I had just been doing a movement that was new to me, and like new for every single muscle fiber in my body. Yeah too much like like even like six reps a day because the rings are insane yeah um i want to get some dude yeah and, and i mean like when i'm saying when because i'm a hopeful person when i get back into sort of being able to regulate myself physically yeah taking care of myself the rings will probably be the way to go totally because it's the most efficient and i'm, I'm all about i'm gonna that. get some and you should dude it's the best dude i this is getting me all hyped up, but one of the, this podcast is, one of the yeah. benefits of this podcast mm -hmm. is that we are, like, forced to hang out more, which <laughs> I think, one of the, I said this in a vlog a couple weeks ago, I, I vlogged about, like, I opened up the vlog with a shot of me talking, saying, like, there's a few things that are consistent in my life across the board whenever I'm the most productive, so, like, with like 
I didn't say this in the vlog, but hanging out with you is one of those things that needs to happen. Oh man, to thank keep, you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. That is the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. No way. Dude, get out of here. Dude, made my day. Thank you so much. No problem. But, uh, so and, and likewise, likewise. Yeah. It's, it's, I feel like, yeah. Here's what's cool is it's like there, the, the, you leave, we leave these conversations or like, with now with the podcast we leave with a product you yes. know what i mean yes like we leave with an asset sure something that's how something, i like to look at something it. we can use yeah um and it it might not be the best thing we've ever collectively created but it's something it's the only thing we've ever collectively created fair fair aside from yet biceps <laughs> uh, who that is true um yeah no but it's now, now you know we have something to. I'm sorry, I keep doing this. This is just yeah. a nervous habit. Yeah, and and that's what I was bringing up is like, I want to have something, but I don't. I don't have something to do on this screen. So find it, dude. Okay, so this is like one of the things I've decided is instead of like focusing all my time and energy on work, because what there's like X amount of hours in a week. That's and true. I probably sleep six hours a day, six and a half, seven. Gotta bump those numbers up, man. Those are rookie numbers. Yeah, it's bad. But, uh, so, <laughs> and then there's school. Yeah. And then there's, like, stuff I'm working on. Sure. So, my, I'm picking up a new hobby. Where it's it's kind of new. I'm gonna, like, get really good at basketball. <laughs> and just do that on the side. And just focus yeah, on it. That's, like, my new fitness venture, kind of. Okay, so that's good. So, something to get you... Moving Just something else to hey, be man. obsessed with, you know, like hundred percent. Do you do you work like that? Do you like? Yes. Sometimes you, you have to get a new hobby so you have something to put yourself into. Um, yes. I, I, I mean, like but that. like, do you get obsessed with things? Oh like, yeah. Oh, dude. Like, just bored. Like, where it hurt to like to the point it's unhealthy. Well, I mean, yeah, I, it's happened before. I do. Sure. Um, that was me vlogging this summer. Yeah. Well, I, it's it, like it was every thought was about vlogging yeah like, it was on it was like jake paul-esque like it was bad well you know to be i don't think jake paul thinks about vlogging like that i think he just thinks about fame yeah well like views right that's how i was that was what my mind was geared towards right that's why i said i was gonna buzz my head if i got yeah seven okay points. so here's the thing about that you can't reverse engineer the equation the equation is you put in work and create good content yep. and focus on increasing quality over time, yep. right? But if, if I tried to fish for attention, right? If you know that the end result is views and you know um, fame to an extent, right? Yeah. You can't reverse engineer it. It works one way. You can't focus on the views and the fame. You have to stay on this side of the equal sign and say increase quality over time. Yeah. Increase consistency and in, in output, right? Yeah. That's a huge thing. The Putting thing, out more. Yeah, well, that's the thing is, like, when you're in this cycle of, like, wake up, vlog, edit, repeat. Yeah. Like, which you, yeah, which it, sometimes you, like, it, sleep was on the back burner at that point. Right. When you get into that cycle, it's like, I can't break this to get better. I just have to, you just have to keep. Dude, so then you're trapped. You're like yeah. a hamster on a freaking wheel. So it just got to this point where, like, one day I missed a vlog because I was, like, in India. Oh, no. And then I was, like... Everything crumbled. And then I was just, like, this is amazing. I'm not vlogging today. Oh, like, really? I, I didn't want to. You felt good when you skipped a day? Like, I skipped a day and I was, like, you know what? I'm just not going to vlog today. And it felt so good to okay. just not have to focus on that. And That's then, really good. That's amazing. Because if it yeah. was me, I would be... If I was in that level of, like, obsessive... Yeah. I would be crushed. That day would suck for me. It kind of did, but, like, I uploaded a vlog that day and then didn't vlog mm -hmm. during the day. So it was like, okay, okay I'll just pick it back up. Right, I, right, I right. posted 18 vlogs in a row. They kind of suck now because there's nothing to talk about, you know? Like, sure. And, the, yeah. And typically, you're like, if it's working out and I'm that obsessed, mm -hmm. I would hate myself if I missed the day. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. So it's just different things, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Sometimes you have to take a day off from uh, laying a brick and yeah. just admire the wall. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, right. I mean, we'll figure it out. We'll let you know when we figure it out. Yeah. Um, All right, we're going to kind of 
Josh, Josh had to take a potty break, so we're just going to ease into the next part of the podcast, which is uh, why this podcast is titled The Initiative. So, um, I'll tell that story. Uh, Wait, can I? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. It's just, it's something that's uh, it's very close to my heart. No, I'm just kidding. It's not at all, because we were sophomores <laughs> and idiots, at least I was, compared to now. It's right? actually funny. Yeah, it is pretty funny. Um, let's just say that the initiative as a title means more now than it did then. Totally. Because at the time, and we talked about this in the last episode, um, we, we, we had very superficial goals in the sense that we wanted to um, be validated by our peers based on how we looked, as most people do, right? Yeah. Uh, and it was more than that. You know, we wanted to feel good and stuff, but it was about it was about fitness mainly. So I had this idea. We were at a football game, and I had been, like, slacking off the whole week. Um, Fitness-wise. Fitness, because yeah. I was, you know, yeah. And, and I was like, okay. This was the height of our, like... Delusion. Delusion and obsession with, like, ripped guys are rich, and, like, we want to be, like... We want to live this disciplined sure. lifestyle for, like, clout, kind of. For me, it was like I wanted to... It actually was more about myself than it was about other people, which is good. But it was still, like, it didn't really matter what it was about because nothing was getting done. But anyway, I came up with the idea. Um, I thought of, like, the coolest title for it I could, and that was the initiative at the time. And I went to Jake at the football game. I was like, yo, i got to talk to you. I pulled you aside. I said, listen, I have this idea, right? What if we spend an entire year, starting now... So it was like the fall, like from now to the fall of our junior year of high school, just living, training, eating, sleeping, breathing, walking like fitness professionals, which is... Like bodybuilders. Right, exactly. So that meant like walking around the school, and like wearing certain types of clothes and, you know, with a blender bottle and, and like protein, powder. like having pre-prepared meals. Hey, that's a great plan, you know, because my thought was like if we immerse ourselves into the lifestyle without the results, the results will follow, right? Not the worst plan I've ever come up with. No. Unfortunately, what happened is I bought a blender bottle, and that was it. Yeah, nothing else happened. That was it. I mean, we kept training, yeah. right? It was funny, because I was like, oh, I'll make my first YouTube video about this. Yeah. And then, yeah, all yeah, yeah. we did, we would hang out and, and talk about, like, the video and, like, what we wanted to get out of it, and, like... Right. And then we never started filming. Right. Like, and then Oh yeah, for like a then, documentary project? Yeah. And yeah, then right. like a month went by and we never started this initiative. And right. then Josh was kinda like, I'm kinda done with this. Right. And well, I was like, Alright, I'm gonna do this video myself. I'm gonna make it about trying out for the baseball team and then I started filming this documentary and that never came to fruition. Right. And then eventually I just started making vlogs. Yeah. Um So that was that was a great example of um, paralysis by analysis. Yep. Just our planning was on point. We came up with some great ideas. I wish that some of those ideas were documented because they'd be usable now. But the actual um, doing occurred a little bit, but not at all at the volume it needed to. You know, like the actual training and the living and the and the process. Yeah. It no. was there, but it was not. We weren't like actually doing it. I wasn't. And that was, was kind of another example of us in our obsessive mindsets, we, we wanted to engulf our life in this fitness. It's all we think about, it's all we do, it's all we eat, breathe, and sleep, and it's just not sustainable. Like, Sure. Which is why you need to have hobbies and like you need these to, other things. On some level, you need yeah. to be a human being. Yeah. Um, you can be a motivated human yeah. being, but you gotta like do human stuff. And when you live in the fantasy world of like, I'm someone that I'm not, which is extremely easy for me to fall into. Oh, yeah. It's like you, you, nothing actual, actually tangible, no tangible progress comes out of that. Yeah. You just, you just widen the delusion and the illusion that you're someone else. That's facts. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this podcast is based on the principles of Josh and I documenting our journeys and our initiative towards our kind of dreams in life. Or and something like that. Yeah, that's the, again, the Disney way of saying it. 
But uh, which is good. So and, and we were thinking of names. We came up with like coffee talk because we both like coffee, but that was taken. And I kind of remembered this, this, the name, the initiative that Josh came up with, and I was I texted him that, and he was like, "Yeah, that's it." So it's a jumping off point. Yeah, I um, like the title. I think it represents. Yeah, my favorite thing about it the, is that it's it works now, and it will probably work months from now. Yeah, and potentially a year from now. And it's harder to think past that, but I'm saying hypothetically, if um, you know, really great things come our way, yeah. the initiative is still going to be applicable. Totally, right? It's still yeah. going to work. Because um, my whole idea is that it never ends. Like, right? Yeah, that's it, the thing. You know, like you're always striving t towards something better if you're doing it right. I right. believe you can't. You should never stop right. trying to better yourself. Right. If there's an end point, is it's not it's not the journey that's going to get you there. Yeah. Right? Right. That's why retirement is a flawed concept. Totally. Retirement is, is, I don't know, I'm 18 years old. But hey, dude, that, the thing, like, I, I've said that in a vlog and it insulted a lot of people. Yeah. Like, you gotta be careful. Because it works. Because a lot of people, like, that, it's this thing that everyone wants and, like, feels they deserve. And I'm like, and a lot of people do. They, they, yeah. I just don't know why people get caught up doing something they don't want to do. Look, I think, I think, we, the base thing is it's, it's it's good to stay on a track that is sustainable, that you can see yourself doing for an, a long period of time. And when you find that and you enjoy it and you enjoy the process, the journey itself becomes more important than, than the destination. Yeah. And, and you know, you can actually enjoy If you don't enjoy the process, there's no point in doing it. Yeah. Um, and here we are just documenting our journeys and processes, you know. So, uh... I think, I think that's, I think that's it. I think that's it. I For think episode two. I think brick two is laid. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I've gotten a lot of great feedback personally. You a have? lot of people have, people have just hit me up that don't even talk to me ever and just and said, like, hey, I like this. Okay. And I was good. A guest are coming soon. Uh, yes, that's right. Which probably I'm, in the next episode. Yeah, we'll I'm guest. thinking that. Yeah, too. Uh, but uh, anyway, so thank you for the feedback. We've gotten like over, I, we've gotten close to 90 views on the first podcast between all our platforms. Racking views. Which is, I'm very happy with. But uh, I No, I am too, because it's- For it's, a 37 minute right, exactly, like, right. podcast. It's like, easy to watch a two minute video, but but yeah, so it's good. Yeah, um, so thank you for all the feedback. That's that's it for me, Josh. Do you have anything else? You know what? Um, no, it's been great. Episode two. Uh, looking forward to the next one. Um, we're going to stay consistent with it. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and listening and being present. Sweet. We're in this together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right.